What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode six of our Let's Play of Alpha Sapphire. And if you guys are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and let me know that this is something that you guys want me to keep doing for you. So we're going to get right back into this. Last episode, I told you guys I was just going to find Mr. Bryony and come right back. Um, it turns out what I had to do was go back to town and and uh, do the Devon Scope thing. Along the way, I caught a Pokemon or two. Uh, we're gonna deal with all that stuff in the Poke Center after we're done. So this looks like that that whiny dude that I need to talk to. Uh, have you transferred into the Pokemon Training School? No, that was the wrong scientist. Here's the scientist, probably. There we go. Yeah, he seems okay. What voice did I use for this guy? Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As thanks, I'll give you a great ball. You jerk. I can buy those things. And buy them. Give me cash money instead. Oh, yes, young man. Please, come with me. So now I'm going with him. Whoa. We are going places. What do you guys think? Is that like a Dragonite flying full, full wing at you guys? Maybe. His wings looked a little big. Maybe it was like a... No. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you just wait here for just a moment? Mm. I see. There's always a catch with these scientist guys. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. All right. The president of a major corporation wants to talk to a 10-year-old child. Look at this guy, huh? I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just now that we were having quite a bit to thank you for, so you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. And there's a favor I'd like to ask of a reliable trainer like you. Now, I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. Never be so mean as to ask for a favor with nothing in return. Here, please give me your Pokenav Plus for a moment. How did he know I had one of those? Mr. Stone updated your Pokenav Plus. You can now use the BuzzNav function. I don't... What does that mean? These are all just buzz words. Ha, huh, puns. The function that I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called BuzzNav. It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who's traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from our friends anytime any place. Now, let me get to the important issue of what it is I need you to do. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Stephen. You should find him in Dewford. Geo obtained the letter. I put it in the key items pocket. It's key. It's clutch. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Dewford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Briney, the old sailor who lives in the hut in Route 104. To help with the crossing. Go find him. He should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure of what to do, just come and talk with me again. This dude's got some stones back here. I'm curious. Rare stones that the president's collected. Uh, I'm gonna collect some rare stones of my own, and I'm gonna evolve them into an Aerodactyl. How's that sound? Mr. Stone, president of the Devon Corporation. Your building's only two stories. I'm not even that impressed anymore. What's this guy got for me? Probably nothing. Should I talk to him? Wow, that's a Pokemon Plus. It's a navigation system for connecting people, Pokemon, the whole world. That was the idea our president and I made a reality. Would you like me to describe each of its features in detail? No, no. I think you'll find out just by trying out the Pokemon Plus for yourself. Okay. Alright. Oh, never mind. There are multiple multiple stories of this building. Nice little reception, just standing out of the front there. Just waiting for us, guys. Oh my god. May is here, as per usual. Oh, hey, Geo, have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on that friend, at least. I caught so many Pokemon in Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. I passed by Mr. Briny when I was in Petalburg Woods. Hmm. I guess he must have been on his way home to his cottage in Route 104. Geo, you just moved here, so there's no way you could know, but Mr. Briny was once a highly respected seafarer. That's it, May? You're done? That's you know, No goodbye? No? Yeah, you're just saying the exact same thing. Okay. You didn't even want to say goodbye. You didn't even want to have a battle. 
find May. I thought we were friends. She told me she wanted to be friends. She said it to me. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. Technically cheating because uh, we should have uh, ditched Charles. Um, so let's go. Let's play around a little bit, huh? Let's uh, have a look at, at the PC here. Let's access someone's PC and let's organize some boxes. Let's uh, get a little organization. Um, so what we have here, this is one of the Pokemons I caught. I caught a Shroomish who I nicknamed Broloom. And uh, he starts with Absorb, Tackle, and Stun Spore. And he has the ability Poison Heal. And you guys know I love Poison Heal Breloom's. Um, I find them very fun to play with. We're going to put Doggett away. And we're going to grab this guy. And we're going to put Charles. Charles, you are Dunzo Washington for me. So... I think thus far I'm pretty happy with what we've got. We've got, so far, let's go over the team with you guys. We've got Hank the Talo. We've got Beldum, the Beldum. Um, his original trainer was Steven. That's who we're going to deliver the letter to. We've got Miguel the Mudkip. We've got Chill the Slackoff. And now we've got Bro, the Broloom, the Shroomish. So, um, oh, he's got a tiny little mushroom. I'm going to take that. Take that tiny mushroom. Um, I think also, let's just make sure, this Zigzackery goon is actually carrying a potion, so we're going to take that from you. And, um, this guy's got a Petcha Berry. Wow, look at this, huh? People carrying items. This guy's got honey. What is going on? Like, all these Pokemon carrying stuff. Bright Powder? That's actually a legit item. That is a legit enough item to put on Miguel. Uh, yeah, let's put a bright powder on you, and then let's, uh, let's call this, let's call this a day, huh? I think we're, I think we're pretty much set good and golden here. Let's go find Mr. Briny. I forgot to set my stopwatch again. Good gracious. So, unfortunately, we do need to run through the petal bear, petal bear, um, the forest, the forest once more. What's going on over here? Is there a little thing in this nook over here? No. Nothing in that nook. We are nook free, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be back here. Walking it out. Going for a little jaunt. Um, I'm feeling good about my, about my party right now. I think it'll be fun. It'll be a nice little... Can we just... Wait, did I just miss something? Hold on. Click in the Pokenav Plus, boys. There seems to be a Pokemon somewhere. That's not super useful information for me. There's no reaction. Okay, I don't... Uh, whatever. That was a level zero. I still don't fully understand that search feature. I know that sometimes when you're close enough, it says, like, the search feature is a high enough level. It, like, tells you a little bit more than just there's a Pokemon nearby. But, um... Here's a boat. He's probably in his home. Yeah, like he's chasing his little... He's chasing Pico around. Hold on, lass. Belay that, Pico. What? Oh, if it ain't Geo. You're the one who saved my Pico. Hey, I... But, oh, oh, he's a pirate. That's the voice I gotta go for. I, but we owe you for that day. What's that? You want to sail with me? What's this all about, then? A letter bound for Duford, certainly. There'd be no problem at all. You've come to the right man. Shall we hoist the stale for Duford at once? Let's head for Duford. Yeah, let's do it. Duford, we're a coming. Pico, set the sail, my darling. Yeah, I like this voice a lot better than old man, old man Briny. I mean, he's not really much of a pirate. That's a pretty nice yacht. It's a little small, but look at Pico keeping up with this little boat. Mr. Briny and Pico are the best of friends. I hope that someday I am the best of friends with one of my Pokemon like that. Maybe a Jolteon. I love Jolteon. Jolteon and Scizor, some of my favorite Pokemon. I actually really like Kyogre also. I have fond memories of using Kyogre. Ahoy, we've struck land in Dufert, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's-his-name or whoever. Whomever. Very good, Nintendo. 
If you're ever feeling lost and adrift, though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon gym. The leader, Brawly, surely knows everyone and everything that goes on in this town. All right, Briny. Peace, bro. I'm out of here. Let's see what the sign says. Duford Town, a tiny island in the blue sea. Beautiful. This little kid's just chillaxing. Um, something trend is so if something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. All right, so this is like we're like in sandals right now. We got two kids chilling around a table. Uh, feast your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. Give it to me. Give it to me. 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 Yes. Yes. Excellent. I'm gonna give that to. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Chill. That's the closest thing we've got to a choice band right now. So Chill, I'm gonna say item. I'm gonna use a give you, and it's gonna be that silk, that sweet silky scarf. That honey, I'm gonna hold on to. Um, I wonder if it's the same. I wonder if we have. Uh, yeah, like horde battles in this. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So we're just kind of chilling, looking around this town a little bit. What do we have here? This is the Duford Hall. Everyone exchanges information here. So if you guys are going to give me some information, I'd really appreciate it. This guy looks like a kind of master. I want... This guy looks like, um... Uh, master Kai from, uh... No? Never mind. I wonder if there's anything on TV about potion festivals. What does that mean? Uh, this person says, are potion festivals even trendier overseas? What is a potion festival? I'm dying to know. I've been doing some research on trendy Pokemon potion festivals. Is it true that there's a deep relationship between potion festivals and part-time jobs? Yes. Oh, so my hunch was right. I'm one step closer to being hip and happening. Yowza. Wow. Why does this town care so much about peer pressure? I've been telling Pokemon about potion festivals too. It's been pretty tough though. Okay, thank you. Uh, of course, the trend right now is potion festivals. A life without potion festivals is unthinkable. Wow. You guys are so annoyingly trendy. I'm collecting tons of potion festival stuff. Potion festival dolls, clothes, and potion festival blah, blah, blah. I bet you're jealous. You can't even... What? You can't have them no matter how much you beg. I don't... At least I sat down on that bench. I'm really enjoying this game, guys. They've done a great job. He saw... Why did... I'm done with this potion festival trash. I'm over it. If you guys aren't going to give me potions, that's all I want from you right now. So, uh, this kid's probably just going to be like, hey, everything's trendy. Yep. Now I'm always checking it out. Hey, have you heard about the new potion festivals? That's right, of course you know. I mean, potion festivals are the hottest thing and cool. Potion festivals are the biggest thing happening from where you're from too, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely right. Potion festivals are definition of in right now. Okay. You know what I'm going to do also? I'm realizing, I'm going to go to options. I feel like I can move up the, uh, yeah, I was, I, I figured that would be the case. Up the tech speed, battle effects are on, switch battle style, button mode is going to be default. What is this? Left equals A? Ooh, that'd be cool. Forced save. Let's say, let's say, yeah. Let's say most, mo oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely going to have that turned on. Uh, we're done with the menu here. We're just going to, what's going on around this, where am I now? I'm in route 106. Did I, uh, did I leave here a little bit early? Trainer tips. The trick to catching a Pokemon with a rod is to press A as soon as you get a bite. Wait. Give me a rod. What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't leave. Ah, oh, this is a battle. I thought someone was going to give me a rod. There's a, like a trainer thing already. And Fisherman Ned standing there. Why didn't you give me a rod? I thought I was going to get a rod. Now I'm what you would call a sad panda is what I am. Uh, Tentacle is level 13. This dude is beast. I'm going to hit him with a wing attack. Hank is in here. Hank's doing some work right now. He hits me with acid. That's got a 20% chance to poison me. And no, it's defense lowering. It's defense lowering. It's not poison. Wing attack's going to finish off this Tentacruel. Hank's going to pick up a one piece. And that was a narrow 1-0 victory. No, just kidding. I had five Pokemon left. Six Pokemon? Is my team full right now? I don't even know. Way to go, Hank. Broloom grows to level 6. Broloom's got some catching up to do, as does Belden before I'm feeling good about using him. I get 416 from that rich, rich schmuck of a, of a guy who doesn't even want to give me a rod. Sounds a little bit dirty, but... <laughs> There's the gym. There's the... Who are you? 
What's up? Have you been training with your Pokemon? If you want to make your Pokemon strong, I highly recommend Super Training. Be like me and enjoy some refreshing training. Yeah, that's true. Aha! You, give me a rod. I know there's one around here. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yeah. I hear you. I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. All right. I'll take the old rod. I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong. And as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water. And then use the rod. Focus your mind. You get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but bigger catches. You need to... What? You need time to pull... Okay. I didn't realize that. Uh, apparently big fish aren't... You don't just... Meh. I don't know. There's a zigzag ragoon in the corner. A lot to be said and living, in a, living on a small island in harmony with my Pokemon and family. So this place is boring. This is just regular humans living in regular people lives here. We're going to go into this gym. Mr. Briny um, told me about this gym. Leader Brawly. Big wave and fighting. Yeah, I could have guessed that Brawly would be a fighting gym. This dude's hanging out as a receptionist. Yo, I was a good champ to beat Geo. Do for gym leader Brawly commands fighting type Pokemon. Going up against him with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting type Pokemon will let a serious smackdown on any normal type Pokemon. Stay on your toes. Okay, go for it. Great. Um, let's see. My team has got a lot of... Uh... Actually, Beldum is also steel... Fighting. This is going to be a difficult difficult gym for me. Hank uh, being flying normal is going to be hit normally effective. Miguel can still be here to pick up, the, uh, pick up the pieces a little bit, but I might be a little low. I really haven't done a whole lot of training. So uh, let's see. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Is this like a fighting girl? Yeah, battle girl Laura, and she's literally mid-aerial kick. That's a jump side, maybe a pop side kick also. Um, we're going to lead with Hank against, uh, he's got a meta type. So I'm just going to hit him with that wing attack, hit him that super effective. He's going to go for the endure, but I'm feeling confident that I'm going to be able to take him out next turn because I've got a trick up my tiny little baby sleeve. Uh, and it's actually, no, it's, it's just to go for another wing attack. Um, I thought that would do a greater amount of damage, hitting super effective against a meta type. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Metatype goes down. Hank gets 156 experience. That's some beast AXP right there. Hank grows to level 15. Um, I think we're going to take on the gym this episode. It's going to be tough, though. A lot of my Pokemon are underleveled. With Charles gone, it's going to be up to Miguel and Hank to carry the team here. Beldum's still a little bit low. I hit a button and uh, turns on the light. So I got to kind of navigate through here and uh, there we go so might is right come on come on this guy uh, black belt Hideki sends out a Machop Machop's not gonna enjoy this wing attack from Hank because the thing is like I'm okay with taking neutral damage that's what uh that's what Miguel would be taking also but I'm really happy to be dealing super effective here taking these guys on two hits Low sweep, I'm very, oh, that's speed lowering, isn't it? Hank, oh boy. Oh man, I cannot lose Hank right now. Um, Miguel, you're going to come in. That did so much damage. I mean, I know Hank's just, uh, Hank's like only like a level higher and Machop's got a beast attack stat for, a, for an NFE. He goes with the karate chop here. I didn't want to risk getting outsped. Miguel comes in to finish up the uh, finish up the job with a strict water gun regiment. Let's uh, let's douse that Machop, and uh, Machop goes down. So I'm not feeling comfortable with uh, the HP levels of my Pokemon right now. Chill goes to level 17 and wants to learn Amnesia. Ooh, ooh. Uh, but there's nothing I really want to drop for that and. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to be making a Pokemon with Truant a tank. So let's uh, let's uh, let's keep old moves. Oh my goodness! Forget, give up on learning it. Did not learn. 
Brolin grew to 18, learned Leech Seed, that's going to be convenient um, in the scheme of things. This might have to be a relatively defensive Shroomish for a little while. Turn on the lights here, It's uh, that gym is really dark. It seems like dangerous to have so little lighting in a, in a gym. You could very easily like bump your foot on something, walk into someone, there could be cats there, people doing stuff with cats, cats doing stuff with people. People doing stuff with people, cats doing stuff with cats, cats and people doing stuff with cats, people and people doing stuff with cats and people. Um, we've fully healed our Pokemon, and we're going to be up on it again. So, back to the gym we go. We've taken out two of his little uh, little dudes. Uh, I don't need that help, Mr. Light. And this one, let's just get a quick gander. It's a little bit of a maze, but I think it's up, right, and then left. What we see here is that we can go left or right. Uh, I'm going to go left after I fight this trainer here. Battle girl, there's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. Well, that's really mean of you to say it to me right now, battle girl Tessa. Um, she's going to send it. She's got two Pokemon, so they're probably going to be a slightly lower level, maybe 11. Maybe 11, 12? 12, maybe. We're looking at 11, so first guess was right. We're going to go for a wing attack. I still don't think it's going to kill. I think it's going to bring him down to red, though. It does actually take him out non-crit, so we're going places. Please level up, Hanky. Oh, I need Hank to get a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to switch against this Machop, but hopefully he goes for like a focus energy first turn instead of, um, instead of a low sweep. Uh, we're going to go for the wing attack here. And it's almost a one-hit KO. He goes for the Karate Chop. Please don't crit. It doesn't do It doesn't do too much, so I'm all right with that. I'm just going to finish up with a Wing Attack. Probably would have been smarter to go for a Quick Attack there, just in case he has Mock Punch, but it seems way too early in the game for Pokemon to be rocking the Mock and Punches. You know what I mean? How long have we been recording? I think we, can st I think we still have time for this. Yeah, we're going to have time to do this. Miguel goes to 19. Broloom goes to 9. And we finish that battle with Battle Girl Tessa. She's concerned about how she lost so easily, and I would be too. Miguel, you're not ready to evolve yet. If I had an Everstone, I would give it to you promptly. Unfortunately, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. So, we're going to keep going this way. I had to do like a little down, I think, right? No, it's like down and across, then up, and then over. Boom. And uh, turn on the lights, and then there's Brawly just... Doing little, like, half squats. Let's get pumped up, Brawly. Pumped up. I'm going to give a berry to a few Pokemon. I'm going to use it on Hank to get his health up a little bit. Then I'm going to give him a berry to hold because I'm not confident that he will be able to take two hits from... Uh, I feel like this guy's going to have him a choke. So let's get a quick save off here. And let's finish this episode in style with a Brawly kill. And let's not lose Hank in the process. So... Here we go, starting up the battle. This is, look at these cutscenes. Oh my God, this game is so beautiful. I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. I've been churning through the rough waves. Oh, he's a surfer. Bro, I've been churning through the rough waves of these parts and I've grown tough using the cave of the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment of this gym. So, you wanna challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Thunk, thunk. This is a horrible fighting stance right here. You got to be more like, I mean, I guess it depends on the fighting style that you were trained with, but that one's better. He's got kind of guarding the chin, got like an elbow to drop to guard his, uh, yeah, he's going to send out, he's going to lead with a Machop. I feel like he probably, if he's got two Pokemon, it's probably a, a Machop and a Machoke, um, maybe a Machop and a Metatite or a Metacham. I'm feeling Machop Machoke. He's level 14. Uh, I think I can take an attack. I think I can get a wing attack off. Hopefully he doesn't go for the low sweep. The low sweep has been uh, a little bit of an issue for me. He goes for the bulk up. That's lucky for me because I still can take him out. He's not going to outspeed me. And I'll be able to take him out promptly with this wing attack. And we are set and golden. He goes for a super potion. Could be an issue if that fully heals him. And it does. So um, I still think I can get a two-hit KO on him. I just barely can, luckily. Hopefully he doesn't pop another one. I wonder if he has a set number that he uses on each Pokemon or a set number for the entire battle, because that would be great if I just got him to pop his Super Potion on that level 14 Machamp, or Machop, and not a, what I imagine is going to be a level 16 Machoke. 
which is kind of what I'm scared about right now. I really hope it's not a Machoke, because I'm, I'm not convinced that Hank can survive that. A Makuhita, all right, all right. We're going NU with this. Uh, we're going to keep battling. Makuhita can definitely take two hits from me, but he's not a Hariyama yet, so uh, I'm going to hit him with a wing attack. Hank is pulling his weight right now. It's going to be a one-hit KO, not even a critical hit. And this Makuhita does not get to set up on my face or get to have a full restore or super potion used on him. And we defeat Leader Brawly. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Jim Badge number two. So, whoa. Wow. You made such a bigger splash than I expected. Yeah, bro. Killer wave. Killer wave. Okay, you got me. Take this Jim Badge. Thanks, bro. That's a cool little badge. What is it? Looks like one of those little, like a tiny little cannon. It's a knuckle. Oh, I see. It's like, pow. It's like, pow! Geo received the knuckle badge from Brawly. The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even though you get trades bay without question. I started off without the accent, but I got it in a second. Huh, you know what? I think you can make full use of this, too. I'm sure this will help your Pokemon bulk up muscle. Yeah, right. It's bulk up. Sweet. I might train that to someone. I'm not sure whom yet. Bulk up temporary enhances the Pokemon's muscle power. This move boosts attack and defense stats of the Pokemon. I kind of sound like a DJ, I feel like, but I'm like going for like a, whoa. Well, as I can, I can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to the day when I can surf for a giant wave, killer wave. By the way, have you been to Granite Cave? It's located in the north part of this town. It's full of fascinating stuff like rare stones and wall paintings thousands of years old. My friend Steven rushed to the cave and told him about it. All right, I'm going to go see Steven. But ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be where we end this episode. So definitely hit that like button and hit subscribe if you're enjoying this playthrough. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.